hello guys welcome to the studio today we're going to be taking a quick look at your plugins and then the program edit basically um, what you can do with your plugins using the program edit let's go Welcome back. This is going to be like a very quick, um, short video. I just want to let you in on something very important. You remember one of our last videos, we talked about the fact that you can actually start picking apart most of the sound you have on your, um, that will be your, your plugin. Yes. Uh, you know, you can start picking them apart. We, we've been, you know, recently talking about the hype synth a lot and we've been trying to like explore some of the other features. And um, you know, in terms of sound, what it, what it's got to offer, and how best you can make you know use of staying within a particular um, environment and see what you can achieve within that environment. So yes, um, so true. I've been able to achieve a lot with the hype synth, and I just want to show you that you know, irrespective of what you actually you know uh, that comes in bundled with the sound that you select, you can do a lot more. By going to the program edit when you're in the plugin mode and you can edit further so let's say for instance the, the particular sound you're looking at is not available but something close to it there is still a way you can actually fine tune to get exactly what you're looking at or what you're looking for so um it's important that you know how to get into that environment you know and you know do more just the same way if you are in your main and um let's say you are in your um, you know your program uh, interface if you go to your menu and you hit program edit you see this feature that allows you to you know um, do a lot of manipulations right here taking talking about the global the samples the envelopes mlfo modulation and all that the same thing is applicable if you go back and you select your plugin we're not even going into um, a key group right now so your plugins and then depending on the plugin you have selected if you go to your menu and you program edit, you will see the interface to that particular plugin where you can edit more. You can basically, I will advise seriously that you take advantage of this interface. If you are the type that you want to explore more, you really want to get more out of the sound that you are currently working with. Um, for instance, let's say you have something yeah, of this nature here, right? And you're looking at the possibility of trying to basically maybe do something about the fact that the reverberation or that delay is too long you need to cut it off and you know a lot of things you can basically just come in and take care of that if you take off the delay no longer tails you know that you hear before but if you like the tail you want to reduce it you can do all those ones either by you know selecting let it turn red and changing your knob or one two three four that's what they are for one two three four basically what is here anytime your amber rectangle is on any of this so um, this you can take it down you see you're getting there now if you take that back you realize it sounds as if there are actually two um, uh, e e equipment or instruments that are coming together if you strike easy you hear one if you strike hard you hear the other one and this is where that relationship takes place you know blending the two equally or you want one to take you know precedence over the other that's what happens here when you tune this so if i take it up to a hundred this takes over if i take it back to zero separate the, the, the entire oscillation i hear i get this so and that delays it continues anyway so back to 50 you hear the two at depending on you know how hard you strike you know, talking about the velocity here so there is a, like a lot of things you can actually you know play around with if you come to your free filter and the amplifiers um uh, you can actually see a lot of things to work around here talking about your resonance the cutoff you know the decay um the attack i we're gonna actually do um, a video for this your envelope you need to know how to actually properly handle your envelopes in terms of attack decay sustain and release those four features 
goes a long way to actually help you if you are going to be working on editing your sound you need to understand those features you know as straightforward as possible then you'll be able to apply that same knowledge onto any other thing you're trying to edit um, in terms of your audio or be it your yeah, your plugin or your own actual uh, maybe program or your key group you it's important that you know how to edit your envelope and it's important that you know what each one of them does that will help you a lot better so yes we'll cover all those so you can actually basically just come in here and work more on your sound to get something different that will sound more out of the box do you get compared to what exactly is being given to you in terms of oh well default settings now the difference between you um that uh, uh, that is taking your time to get one, any of this plugin and then tweak and someone who keeps buying plugins because of different sounds is just that someone else somewhere has taken their own time to sit down and you know adjust all these things different settings and all that and that's basically what they are selling to you so uh, there are ways you can actually generate your own sound there are ways you can you know create your own sound generate your own sound and apply whichever filter or, or whichever uh how do i put it effects or you know uh onto it and it will still sound exactly like what you're hearing right now but you buy plugins most of the time you buy packs let me put it that way because you are trying basically to just you know let me start from where someone else stopped so someone else has already taken the liberty of putting everything together you know going through the stress of doing some settings for you and hope you will like it then they give you the pack you are here now you are supposed to be able to play around with it and then tweak it more to your own taste because if everybody is using it the same way it is like flat out all sounds might eventually be the same so your creativity will come in at play here um, and it's not really applicable to maybe lost hype since it's like goes way beyond that so let's say we change this to uh, let me use because at least right now we're in the new era right so let me take this down to maybe tube synth in your um, tube synth um, if I go back to my menu and I program edit this is what you get a different look and feel entirely this is for the tube synth and um, you should be able to also do some couple of um, uh, you know tuning to the tube, tube synth um, plugin you have the octave here basically and then um, we have the fine tune you get for basically the oscillator one and the oscillator two so it's pretty different so here so this even when i release it still gives me another kind of sound so you can work on the oscillator see So a lot of things you can do here seriously if you take your time to you know explore all these settings and then tune those particular plugins sound to your own taste yep we're just preaching this to you just so you know that before you decide to say let me go out there and buy some packs you can actually replicate if you heard it before you can replicate you just need to know which of your you know free packs to go to free plugins to go to and do your editing and you know, do some tweaks and all that and then you'll be as good you know to go so that'll be all for now don't forget to like subscribe share and we will see you in the next one